Hey there. In this video, we are going to take a look at a computational model from 1970s. We are going to essentially go back in time to 1970s, understand how the computer systems were, uh, you know, how they were structured or how they were organized uh, back then. And from there, we'll try to arrive at uh, the C language. Now, we only take a look at the model in, uh, in as part of this video. Right. So back in 1970s, the computational or the computer model was like very simple. The systems were very simple. So you just had uh, the CPU and then you had uh, the memory. Right. And the memory would host uh, two things. Right. Um, uh, and there are like nuances here, but we'll just stick with like the simple model of computation um, or computer systems. So let me just kind of, you know, move the memory here. And then the idea was it would have uh, instructions or it would have uh, data, right? So memory can have instructions uh, or it can have data. Now what the CPU would do is depending on, you know, which phase it is in, meaning uh, does it want to fetch an instruction? Does it want to fetch an, uh, fetch data? Depending on that, it would float an address. Right, so this is called the address bus. Uh, let me just write it here, address bus, right? And depending on what that address is of, uh, you know, the bits would be fetched on a different bus, right? Let's just call it uh, data bus for now, right? And depending on which address it is pointing to, you would either get bits that correspond to an instruction or you would get bits that correspond to the actual data, right? And just just uh, one difference between the instruction and the data fetch was fetch or you know manipulation was that the instruction is only fetched from the memory and not written to the memory uh, you never write an instruction to the memory in, in this model uh, but the data could be written back right so the cpu could get some data do something with it write it back or yeah, it could do it could do just that, right? So this is pretty much the model that will help us understand uh, the C language. Uh, because the C language was invented in 1970s, um, the, it it was invented to handle computational systems or computer systems, we which were of this nature, right? Um, and once we understand C language through the lens of how the computer systems were in 19. 70s uh, we'll be able to reason about the keywords better the organization better uh, we would be able to debug the c code better so this is important from that standpoint now what i should mention again very specifically is uh, pretty much anyone who learns the c language uh, this way which is following the computational mo model from 1970s uh, it kind of has a very thorough understanding of the language and can reason about it uh, very thoroughly, right? So my hope is that we'll now use this computational model in the upcoming videos and we'll kind of port it over into uh, 2023 and then we'll study the C language uh, as it pertains to this particular uh, you know, configuration. And yeah, that's about it and I'll see you in the next video.